Diamed Medical has just released some huge information on their type 1 diabetes therapy called Diamed. And you know what? They're now going for FDA approval. We have the whole story right here. Welcome to Type 1 Diabetic Warriors. Our team is committed to bringing Type 1 diabetics the latest medical developments to manage this disease. We also cover current medical advancements seeking a cure for T1D. If you value this content, please feel free to show your support by clicking on our homepage and hitting the link to buy us a coffee. Your support helps our team to research topics for upcoming videos. We thank you for your support. Hit the like and subscribe button if you would. Now let's find out what this exciting news is from Diamed Medical. Diamed announces positive results and seeks accelerated FDA approval. Here is a summary analysis of the new positive data on Diamid for type 1 diabetes as of September 11, 2025, along with an interpretation of its significance, strength, limitations, and what to watch going forward. What's new? A retrospective analysis of data from 241 individuals with stage 3, symptomatic, newly diagnosed. Type 1 diabetes who carry the HLA-DR3-DQ2 genetic marker has been accepted for oral presentation at EASD. Vienna, mid-September 2025. Key findings. Those treated with at least three injections of diamide show a significant delay in the progression of losing insulin production. Important because preserving endogenous insulin helps with glucose control, fewer complications. Specific thresholds. Insulin response. In the placebo group, half of the participants' insulin production dropped below that level after 14.6 months. For those getting greater than three injections of diamid, fewer than half dropped below that over the study period, meaning preservation past that point was significantly extended. The analysis combines data from three clinical trials. All subjects were diagnosed within the last six months, median age of 13 years. The ongoing phase three trial, Diagnote 3, which is the confirmatory trial, is recruiting in Europe and the US. It is limited to patients with recent onset stage three disease and with the HLA-DR3-DQ2 genotype. These results reinforce previous retrospective and prospective findings. Why is this important? Precision medicine angle. The positive effect appears specific to carriers of HLA-DR3-DQ2. That's good for targeting, improving chances of benefit, and potentially reducing exposure of patients unlikely to benefit. Preservation of endogenous insulin production. Holding on to one's own insulin production, measured via various insulin response or C-peptide metrics, is associated with better long-term control, fewer complications, less severe hypoglycemia. So this type of delay is clinically meaningful. Dose effect. It appears that receiving more injections leads to better preservation. That suggests a dose regimen matters, which helps in designing treatment protocols. Time thresholds extended, for example, going from 9 months to 5 short 14 to 15 months for decline below certain insulin output thresholds is a substantial delay, 50 to 60% longer. That gives patients more time with better endogenous control. Trial support. These findings help de-risk the ongoing Phase 3 Diagnode 3. They suggest the trial is well-founded and that the endpoint definitions used are relevant. This is promising evidence that diamide can delay the loss of insulin production in newly diagnosed type 1 diabetes in patients with the HLA-DR3-D2 genotype, especially when given at least three doses. It strengthens the rationale for the ongoing Phase 3 Diagnode 3 trial. If the findings are confirmed, this has the potential to alter treatment paradigms for patients with this genotype. Diamid Medical is seeking accelerated approval for Diamid in the U.S. and has made regulatory progress toward that end. Here's a breakdown. What accelerated approval means in this context? The FDA accelerated approval pathway allows a drug for a serious condition that addresses an unmet medical need to be approved based on a surrogate endpoint, a biomarker, that is reasonably likely to predict clinical benefit before the full clinical outcomes are known then confirmatory post-approval trials are generally required. In the case of type 1 diabetes, preservation of endogenous insulin production, often measured via C-peptide, is being used as a surrogate endpoint. Here's the status what Diamed has achieved so far around accelerated approval. Fast-track designation, 
Diamid has reached fast-track designation from the FDA for stage 3 type 1 diabetes, HLA-DR3-D22 genotype, and also for stage 1 and 2 disease in pediatric patients. Type C meeting with FDA. Diamid held a type C meeting in December 2024 and got positive feedback. The FDA acknowledged that the design of Diagno 3 is aligned in many respects with what we needed for accelerated approval, including using stimulated C-peptide as a primary surrogate endpoint for an interim readout. Interim readout timing. Diamid plans an interim efficacy readout around March 2026, based on 170 participants who complete the 15-month assessment in Diagno 3. Interim readout must be strong. The efficacy C-peptide preservation at the 15-month mark must reach thresholds the FDA sees as significant treatment-related benefits. If it doesn't, accelerated approval may not be granted. Whether this succeeds depends on whether the interim and ongoing trial data meet the regulatory thresholds for efficacy and safety. Diamid is an immunotherapy, not a replacement therapy. It's designed to retrain the immune system so that it stops attacking the body's own insulin-producing beta cells. The goal is to preserve the patient's remaining beta cells, slowing or halting disease progression, rather than restoring cells after they're gone. Diamide is administered as an injection into a lymph node. This is a different therapy from a standard under-the-skin vaccine shot. Directly targeting lymph nodes allows a more controlled immune modulation effect with smaller doses. In summary, diamide is a targeted immunotherapy that delivers the GAD65 protein into lymph nodes to retrain the immune system, increase regulatory T cells, reduce beta cell destruction, and extend the patient's own insulin production, especially in people with the DR3DQ2 genotype. Conclusion, diamide is actively pursuing the accelerated approval path. The company has had good preliminary regulatory feedback has aligned its Phase 3 trial, Diagno 3 design with what the FDA will accept for surrogate endpoints, and is planning an interim readout in early 2026, which it expects to use to apply for a biologic license application under accelerated approval. Pretty exciting news, don't you think? If everything goes to plan, Diamed proposes to have an interim readout by early 2026, so that could be as little as six months from now, then they will propose a fast-track approval to the FDA. Now, in theory, this could, if everything works out, be available and on the market as a therapy by 2028 or 2029. We'll keep you in touch on what's going on here. And as always, thank you for hanging out with us today here on Type 1 Diabetic Warriors. My name is Jim. And we'll have another exciting video for you here in just a few days. Bye for now.